Hi, you're welcome to this video. My name is Kusema Ise, a postgraduate student of the School of Law of the Queen Mary University of London. And in this video, I will be sharing 12 tips for first year postgraduate students in Queen Mary University of London. These tips are going to help you to begin your postgraduate program at the Queen Mary University of London. very first tip is accommodation coming to queen mary university of london you would have diverse accommodation options different student halls are available for you to choose from we have um, aspire point we have the sharon house and a host of other accommodation options for you to choose from so settling in in london will not be an issue for you once you arrive at queen mary university of london the second very important tip is selecting your courses you need to consult the white book and your student handbook to be able to identify all the courses that are offered by your school so that you can select them and make sure that you stick to the maximum credit unit offered in your course for each teaching period the third point is insertional modules it is very important for you to select an insertional module that is going to help you sharpen your writing or speaking skills when you go to your student portal you're going to be able to assess all the insertional modules that are offered in each teaching period and you're advised to take at least one insertional module that will sharpen your writing or research skills while you're doing your postgraduate studies another thing is for you to attend your classes whether your classes are online or in person physical or virtual, you have to attend your classes because these are the ways that you get to understand the courses, you get used to your lecturers and their way of teaching. You can actually ask questions and this way you can participate and actively you know, contribute during your classes. The fourth point is for you to read before your classes because if you don't read before your classes, it may seem like the topic is very broad and you may not understand it. But if you read before your classes, you find out that you're following the lecture very well and you can actually make valuable contributions during the classes. The next point is for you to attend rich university workshops. These workshops are organized by the library where you are being taught of referencing and plagiarism and other things that you need to take into consideration for academic writing these workshops are actually very important for you the next point is for you to attend career and mentoring sessions organized by your school i am in the school of law and my school's career team organizes different mentoring and career sessions for you and these are very important so that you will know the different career options available in your field the next point is for you to take note of your dissertation proposal. This is only applicable to students who chose to write dissertation during their postgraduate studies. If you had opted to write a dissertation, you need to start thinking about your dissertation proposal as soon as possible. This is because the deadline for submission of dissertation proposals are always very close and before you know it, you're out of time. So once you begin your studies for the very first teaching period, you need to take note of your dissertation proposal and begin to develop it. So let me talk about studying at Queen Mary University of London. Whether you're living at the student accommodation or you're living at the private accommodation, there are so many libraries across the campuses for you to study in depending on where your campus is. For instance, at the Mile End campus, we have the Graduate Center where postgraduate students can go and study. At the Lincoln Innsfield Center, we also have a library where you can go and study. By all means, choose a location that is favorable to you in such a way that you can study without distractions. The next point is for you to join student societies. You may join a student society in your school or in your department. For instance, I am studying international dispute resolution and I joined the ADL society. Your student society will organize programs and sessions for you and will help you interact and learn more in your field and also build relationships. The last tip I'm going to share today is for you to always carry your student card around because you will need the card to have access to any Queen Mary University building. I hope that these tips are helpful helpful to you don't forget to always check your queen mary emails and always visit the qm plus because information from your school are updated there on a regular also follow me on social media my name is kusema Ise and subscribe to my channel for more tips bye